and I was among the people who alikuwa na reach out na mimi na nilifurahi sana kukutana naye kwa kwa show kwa sababu uh, mara nyingi unajua naishi upande ile nyingine ya diaspora mm. uh, kwenda kule task inakuwa ni mbali sana kwenda kukachap na mabrada zangu unajua so yeah. it hits me so hard that uh, unajua um huko unaweza ku make time for your friend just to cross over to the other side kwa sababu watu wengi sana wanatoka mbali sana wakienda task of the pole unajua yeah. it's not a matter of the sababu the pole ama kujikumbusha but si kujulia na hali so mm. ilipiga sana zabe amekuwa ni zangu mdogo na tumecheza na yeye kidogo amecheza nyuma yangu but uh, unajua imetokea iluma sana unajua kwa sababu tulikuwa naye mara ya mwisho tukaongea vitu mbili tatu off of camera but mm. apparently uh, whatever happened happened atujui nini lilifanyika unajua but uh, alale mali sema tuponi tuko pamoja kwa hii jani um, tutasukuma tutasukuma acha tuone uh, show ina semani ya last week what happened next Good stuff. Now talking of uh, talking of the last show ile tulifanya na wewe na Zabe, uh, apparently um hiyo show ilikuwa na faiku ni show yako na Motego and then Motego at the last minute akapata matanga pia that is why haku come and then uh, I had planned to do a show between Zablo na Manaka na Jofaya Olivio the next wednesday now the wednesday that followed yours uh, but sani vile 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 motego ali, ali pull out nitakwambia zabe kambia zabe maze bro you have to stand in for your brother motego na zabe ya kuwest time maze akanipigia akaniambia bro let's do it so i think nilikuwa privileged ku ku make your phone call na ku kuwa na, na zabe kwa show hiyo siku na tutakuwa tunaongelea hapa story mob zile tulipigia siku off camera uh, before the show and even while we were having dina together ambani kidogo kidogo tukabla ambani ajaingia unajua um god god work miracles eh? because sometimes na plan kufanya kitu fulani but something else ina ina, ina, ina come up yeah See, I, would, i would say it was a blessing in this case that nilikuta uh, na zabe hapo kwa sababu siko najua doctor na na apparently um nishao show zako nyingi sana hiyo show hiyo nafikiri tuli 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 spend most of the time laughing because mm. ilikuwa ni show safi sana mm. uh, little did we know that huyu jamaa ilikuwa ni kama anakuja kukipita fairway unajua so mm. nitacherish your moment uh, nashukuru Mungu hiyo video iko somewhere so we can always keep it kuna ni kuipitia pitia kila mara tukikumbuka kijana wetu kweli kabisa um wacha nipitie tu comments kidogo tukienda kwa boni um Naona hapa James Gitui uh, anasema RIP Amanaka I watched his show wakiwa na Shol and then uh, Afande Sele Afande Sele ameingia anasema ambani nani anagonga mwiko huko jikoni tell her to stop um Chiweida naona ameingia a witch pa a witch a conlocked uh, Devi Babs Devi Babs alikuwa yeye ndiye alikuwa behind the cameras hiyo siku tukifanya hiyo show Baze, ya Amanaka yeye pia anasema RIP Amanaka and then Mwenzo wa Kamara anasema rest in peace Amanaka this Messi Ochung anasema rest in peace legend Zablon Amanaka and then ona Dennis Hamisi pia ako locked in Lex E eh, Debi anasema rest in power Amanaka and then eh, Zekno Dikare anasema Athanas Obango Obala Bangoto tulia boss nini na kamera eh Obango ni mtu wa kitambo so tunajaribu kumpeleka na rada na hii technology then Musa Otieno captain pia ako locked anasema rest in peace Zabe of course pia Oteshe wamecheza pia na Zabe at some point kwa national team and then Jesse Obora anasema rest with the angels Zablo na Manaka shine on your way Rasta Felix Makacha anasema I think it was the grace of God that we last saw and heard from Zabe hapa kwa Tuchapiane fellow eh, na hiyo nini yao ya camp toyo ya states pia wako na plan zao za of course za kufundraise for our fallen soldier pia atakuwa anatuambia baadaye of course pia wanakuwa na show yao on sundays ya legends corner so i'm sure they are doing something for our fallen legend tuko na brother yake hapa pia atakuwa anatupatia updates on 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 mpango pale zimefika budgets pale zimefika of course wako na pay bill ile wanachangisha nayo pia atakuwa anatupeleka na hiyo rada and then of course maybe kama wamesetle on a burial date pia atakuwa anatujulisha ambani eh 
bonga buda nataka tu ndio na chuki dogo na pali mlikutana na Zabe na vile ulikuwa namjua kama eh, kama teammate of course mate za naye eh. ambani hapo bon sasa singo ndio Zabe Zabe kwangu to limit katu leopard I got to meet Lopez al Gopon and there. Mm. Pigan of a beer to Sazane. I want to pend a good thing as well. You ain't a beer and you want to go on a class. I can't even be a big bed. Pigan and you will pay. Rambo says, Pigan I. Kuna siku uh, Olaba alinipea bans kama kitu na Zab ni alikuwa assistant. Zab amekuwa roommate wangu throughout. Ah, uh, Zab ni kule amepiga naye Andimo Serian. Mimi ndio hata nilimput kujo Serian. Uh, alipona kutoka kama pale. Kakuja katika moko wa Serian. Akuja pipeline. The pipeline wa Serian ilikuja tukapata na tena pipeline. So tumepiga naye ndio pale pipeline. Alafu za hapa akakuja kachomoka kaenda Nilijua zaba kendo man. Nilijua zaba ako man. Nilijua ni kiwa nilimeno kusikimiza. Nilijua zaba mbina mingi. Nilijua nitumia passport zangu. Passport. Nilijua mbina kwa hindi unatangu nitumia diteza passport zangu kwa hindi. Nilijua mbini ni tomoka ni kwa man. Na hiyo time yote mili wanajua mze labda ajakuja zoezi siku mbili tatu. So zaba. Alikuwa that kind of a man yani yeye kama imejipe imejipa yeye atajipea huko mbe mbele so nikamtumia details zangu and then uh, three days later akantumia visa katumiwa tickets ya ndege mimi huyo mimi pia nika sepa mm. and a man omana tuko team moja lakini tuko town moja tuko naishi na Zab town moja si hata niaje yani literally tulikuwa tu nyumba yake na yangu Tuko tu close. Yeye alikuwa anacheza Al Nasa, mimi nilikuwa uh, mimi nilikuwa Al Hilal, lakini we were just close. Mm. Tuko kila kitu food nini kupika nini kila kitu tuko na pika tu pamoja. Aidha tutakula kwangu ama tutasosi kwake. Mm-hmm. So we became so close friends yani si hata watu wa maneno friends, we just became brothers, yeah. Mm sota family yake akiris family yake na jua yote watu wake wote na wajua kuanzia desi mpaka the last bonu wote unaelewa yani it was just a brother to me very close so we to zote na wazee wetu kuna hizo tiga tu pamoja so tukatoka Oman kurudi Kenya kila mtu akapiga shughuli zake nini nini tena kidogo tukapatana tena India mm yeah mimi nilikuwa Vietnam lakini za pamzo Pamzo ndio alikuwa ameitazabu wapi alikuwa ameitazabu uh, wapi India mm. East Bengal mimi nilikuwa nimeenda Vietnam mm. so Pamzo akanipigia simu akaniambia mzee akani mail akaniambia mzee toka hii Vietnam saa hii na nataka hii so kujua kwamba walikuwa na zabu huko so nikarudi Kenya nikachukua nikata visa the next day niko flight niko India na kwa tena tuko na zabu tena so tuko na hivyo Eh ndio hii hapa tarehe 3 again hiyo ndio kwa tarehe ya tena task kwa zee so if you it's just a journey that got night throughout it became a, it's not even a friend you just a brother mm. i think i was asking you to go to another place mm. ah ah kwa hiyo hapa kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa wanja labda hiyo zaba alikuwa sometimes tem, tem, temperamental ile 
mm. anataka vitu zivanyike vile api anataka so unako na pata zingine ako juu akiingia akienda tu juu hakuna muda wa namkul lakini i think our only person who could say zap only the word zap hata kama ni kwenye So, okay you also until sabe mimi nimeata mpaka nikasema zab ni hata ni niuliza juu ile ile shorts anasema maisha ilikuwa hivi na hivi lakini nime nimekuwa na zab kwa uta wala mpyo watu wanasema eh labda zab alikuwa my friend ruji mkana na zab mkana na zab that's cause as a whole imengana mimi mwenyewe pia as a person nilikuwa nimechukua zab as a brother Yes. Yeah. Kuna vitu mbovu sana. Yaani ni ile tu hatuwezi ongea ama hatuwezi sema lakini kuna vitu mingi sana vimefanya mpaka yani zab kufa kwake. Unajua I was shocked ni ile tu told on the nilipiga simu akiniambia na nilikuwa kwa shoot plan hapo nilikuwa napiga shoot plan ya Betsy pa. Ndio eh it was a euro. Ndio told akanipiga simu. Aka insist katoka. Toka kwa shoot kidogo nikaongea ati zab amedai. Ah nikasema unasema nini? Mm. I just came out nikapiga simu ya Zab karibu mara tano ichukulie. Mm. Ndio kidogo mtoi wake anaitwa Jesse akanipigia. Ni hadi anko nikaokoa. Umesikia maneno ya dad ningawe mimi siaskia. Mm. Ndio kajaribu kunieleza niko na pana. Nikamwambia nitumie namba ya mama. Sasa mama Jesse. Ndio nikaongea na mama Jesse na yeye nani akaniambia hata yeye anakimbia tu kwa ena ngati. Mm. After now I can pick a simo kana mbe nyewe mzee jo eh yo story iko kwa mtandao na nini na nini mzee ni kweli ndio nikapigia sana told back nikamwambia told kwa sababu told alikuwa anaogopa kwenda on air na hiyo story na iko mzee baadaye ni so najua tu Kenya so zingine wana uanga tu hata kabla hujakufa yeah so uh, it is it was devastating yeah nime for the past 3 4 days i think si jakuwa myself until today eh Mm. ndio nimerudi mimi mwenyewe nimetoka mochari bwana my friend nimeenda nimeangalia zap if mm. nikauliza nikauliza motivation tafadhali unaweza nionyesha zap huyu si zap mm mzaka ni ambia huyu ni zap na nimekubali ni zap juu tulikuwa na brother zap huyu ni baras lakini nakwambia saa hii ukienda ukienda uangalia tu mtu akwambia huyu ni zap mm mzee uta utakubali ni zap mhm hauwezi kuanika Yaani zab amedai kifo ingine boss mm. mimi yemeni chap boni uh, wacha 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 tu wacha tu nini uh, cause of course hii uh, death ya, ya zab i think imekuwa imekuja kama pigo kwa the football fraternity as a whole um mm. mimi nakumbuka personally ilikuwa hiyo saturday niliamka asubuhi nilikuwa na show nilikuwa na show ya chachisha hiyo siku nika nikapata inbox message from uh, the daughter simjui eh akanitumia message anaitwa Natasha Natasha amenitumia message ananiuliza kama nimesikia anything from Zabe because apparently eh, Zabe the last time akiongea na Natasha alimwambia kwamba anakuja kuniona mimi because we have another talk show that we are supposed to do together and i remember hiyo siku tukiongea na Zabe the last time nilikuwa gidurai nikifanya show yangu huko and Zabe was supposed to come he didn't come so i think that is the last time aliongea na mtoi wake Natasha na nikiamka nikipata hiyo message kutoka kwa mtoi wake sikuwa yani kwa position hata ya kupigia Zabe because nilikuwa naingia tena kwa another show on that day so after show maze napata ma tags nimetagiwa almost on 100 posts kwa kwa facebook that is why Uh, nikapiga piga masimu nilipiga masimu kadhaa Zabe mwenyewe hata nilimpigia nilipiga simu ya Zabe nikisema yani with the hope that at least nitasikia sauti yake tena uh, na mtu yule nilipata kwa phone alikuwa brother yake hapa baraza so nataka kabla tukuje kwa baraza uh, tuongee na Tony because uh, Tony uh, happens to be one of uh, of, of Zablon's former classmates so Tony acha ni kwa mute because nilikuwa nime mute juu ya hizo manois so unaweza je unmute tu alafu utuambie something about Zablon pia Tony ah uh, poa sana bro um Zabetu alisema naye nilipenda kwa chuo moja na Zabetu kwa toy mm. <coughs> excuse me 
So Zabeni limjua 1984 pale city primary school mm. ambao Zabeni alikuwa bro wangu mso tangu nikiwa class 4. Mm. Tukapiga naye shughuli mpaka 1989 wakati tulipoleza class 8. Mm. So Zabe ni mtu cho alikuwa anga moja tu vile kwa vile ambani amesema ni mtu alikuwa zikipanda zinapanda. Mm. Alikuwa leader tukiwa watu hii kutoka class 4 Zabe ni mtu alikuwa anasumbua kina Pamzo. Pamzo alikuwa mbele yetu na class 3. Mm. Zabe ndio chali peke yake tuko watu hii alikuwa anaenda kucheza na kina Pams. Mm. Wasi walikuwa class 7 hiyo time alikuwa na 8. Mm. So ni chali leadership yake unajua na ni chali nakumbuka tukiwa primary school kuna chali moja alikuwa anaita ngo haya. Jojadi Mandegwa I think alikuwa ameroka pia kwa familia ball. Mm. Alikuwa na shingi brua. Mm. Na ama chali wile alikuwa si rivals tukienda ball unajua. Ball yao ilikuwa anga ball ya rivals na sasa tuko class 6. Mm. Tukapiga naye mbaya class 7 tukamza chuo tukapoteana. Mm. Uh, ten years later after tumemeza high school nikifanya pale super sport mm-hmm. niliweza kumpata akiwa sofa paka. Yeah. Wakapanda na sofa paka. Hiyo time tukishoot shoot ball kabla ya shika Kenya matugo 8 to 9. Mm. Nikampata tena mahakama. So ni boy nili fry kurio night na yeye tena apart from kwa na primary school for six years kukutana naye ball na kumuona ngeo time akicheza Harambe unajua na kwangu vile mnasema nyu wote nime lose boy kwangu alikuwa ngani unajua legend nikimuona legend nilisoma na yeye legend nilikaa na yeye na nakumbuka hiyo saa tu bram na kumbuka tulikuwa na yeye na na marafiki zetu pale tulikuwa tuna tunangoja kwenda Bonele Champions League saa tu When you know message you could see could believe that Zabeli die but uh, ya Mungu ni mengi na na hope hakuna ma legend wengine wa Kenya watapitia what our brother went through I think I saw his last pictures I couldn't believe that Zabeli is all the same guy ule alikuwa anga beast tukiwa chuo yani ni jamaa alikuwa mtoi hapo class 7 lakini ana tisha watu kwa kupomoa ndio anakumbuka kina Odo wakiwa na Emily Manya alikuwa anga the same thing at Emily Manya high school so ni hard kuangalia vile bro wetu ameenda na kwa familia yote baraza condolences kwa familia kwa endeleeni kwa strong na kimon tu bro wetu tunaomba tu watu wa come tusimame tupatie bro wetu send of for hayo tu good stuff uh, kabla twende kwa bro wake uh, baraza because yeye ndiye anakupatia update on uh, what is happening because most people want to know uh, the status right now in terms of uh, the burial deaths uh, because you know people need planning uh, budgets kama ziko of course uh, i mean arrangement gani zinafanyika so hizo updates zote tutakuwa tunapata kwa bro wake baraza ambaye yuko hapa but before tuende kwa baraza eh obango sijui kama uko sawa sasa hizi ama bado una unasumbuka una, una sumbuka <laughs> unanisikia na kusikia fiti sana so just hold on kuna messages naingia hapa eh, eh, mulo ya mwangu wa huko Moroni anasema may his soul rest well ja lord then naona Opar Agwok baba Eren anasema RIP sub and then eh, John Kaloki naona pia anafuatilia show eh, mtu wangu sana huko Dubai Jackie Ricky eh, Jagol Ulinzi naona pia ko set Jebet Efumbi naona pia na watch Dan Betty anasema RIP legend Billy Wafula ana watch eh, Anima Ferrari anasema this is sad eh, au ni watu wale pia tumekuwa tukiongea nao vile tutakuwa tuna fundraise eh, Becky Sister the future wife forever anasema RIP Amanaka tutaonana baadaye eh, Carol Rock anasema pia ko locked Sharinio Didier ko locked na Shipae ko locked Mashera wa Mwangi pia yuko locked and then Jesse Obora anasema one thing i have learned today is that players wa kitambo walikuwa na together ingine hatari wanaitana hadi mayolo kupiga ndimu current current players should be that to move sote i think that is in relation to your story yeah mtupati hapa zapi bango time ni yako bro okay shukran sana bro na sana kwa the first time ndio yako ingawa not not 
Eh, sema, zabe amekuwa rafiki yangu many many years. Eh, sema, katika jani yake ya bora kienda so, just, eh, just one minute kwa ngo just one minute eh? just one minute niko na niko na phone call hapa eh, kutoka kwa matasi nilikuwa nataka tu atupatie an update on uh, on his situation just like 30 30 seconds matasi eh, nataka tu tuambie kidogo hapa sijui kama watu watakuwa nasikia but nataka tu tupatie update on your situation right now bro unaendeleaje Nashukuru Mungu mwanzo. Mm. Eh, kisa hiki kwa stable. Mhm. Eh, this is what happened yesterday. So, sasa hiki kwa stable. Nashukuru God. Mhm. Tuko kwa mko na doctors. So, nashukuru. Okay. Familia iko aje? Familia sio mbaya vile. Mhm. Ah, mama tuko na kujika mko. Mhm. Then uh, from here I got this report shoulder na kama kitu cha sema ande. Mhm kakopoa si kile kilikuwa jana at least leo kama ni improvement okay yeah all right nilikuwa nilikuwa nimesema tu nipige simu at least uh, because many people are concerned about your situation jana bila hiyo ni to fikia and uh, since you are one of us kufuata na kimaze una ni hadi na pia ongea na watu wako at least wajue uko sawa yeah so far so good eh uh, mimi nataka kutoa Kenya na my fans mostly Safi bro, shukran sana mazee wetu mzika. Think tutakacha later eh nitakupigia simu baadaye tu na baadaye. Okay. Mombi yetu bro. Huyo alikuwa matasi, eh nilikuwa nimesema lazima pia ongea na watu wake at least tutue vile anaendelea. So bangone zaendelea. Okay, shukran bro. Na naweza sema Zabe amekuwa best yangu sana for oh, many many years nilijua Zabe 1996 mm. aki John FC Leopards the first Leopards ile ilikuwa ya Ruben Lola kumbuka FC Leopards waliweza kufanya uh, wali overhaul team na nafikiri na Zabe ndio alikuwa to kwanza kuja kwa team wakati Ruben Malola alikuja aka akaweza kwa wachaji wengi sasa kaza uh, akakuja na waka waka, waka, waka la new team ambao was part of it eh? Mm. na Zabe komesta and i think the last time when I in fact to like i've not sat with Zabe for a very very long time eh in fact boni yake alikuja karata kawaida yetu zile na zile kujok jok zetu na nini Zabe muza bono talimio bo boni akapita unaona kwa wale watu walianza hawakuwa au, jibu sisi tunachoona eh umeona vile kanaingiana tukamwambia mzee leo hawa kuna kitu kimekotea pale ile sampani kwa mbebea tukajua so pata mimi mwenyewe nilipigiwa simu na Chiweda Chiweda ndo alinipiga simu akanuda umesikia nini nime hapa nilikuwa toy ni game mission 2 Chiweda tukawa kwa ashindwa sita semanini because zabe akienda bosnia mm. zabe akienda ethiopia zabe akienda 
wakati vojo alikuwa kwenda si sheria mipe hakuwa kuz kidogo so tuka tukaweza tuka kulani ile rangu ya sisi tunao tasikia hapo kwa kuwashiki rada hata kidogo so zabe a very very close nilikuwa na process ya transfer bali wakati nilikuwa federation mm. akipata nini na namshukuru GTC anapata haraka hivyo hivyo mm. so we've been so close hiyo uh, time not only in the city of Bosnia i remember one day uh, transfer ilikuwa na nilikuwa na ITC ya Zabe aki, akiwa Bosnia mm. na nilikuwa na kia kwa cyber pale nasema ku ku ITC ndo Zabe iwe kwenda uwezi ya mbango bango network yako kidogo network yako kidogo ina iko shaky so watu 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 wakupati vizuri sana so sijui kama unaweza okay unaweza just kidogo cuz tunakusikia Wacha ntoke kwa wifi nende kwa bolta hapo. Eh toka kwa wifi. Kuna hiyo wifi yako ina kandi 2G. Nini 2G? Inatoka 2G. Tafuta 4G buda alafu kam. Eh but ukitafuta ga network nataka kuingia kwa baraza fast fast atupatie atupatie pia update update from the family eh, I, i know there's a uh, pay bill number that is available right now so watu wengi najua wanataka kuona hiyo pay bill ni gari ndio changamke but eh, mimi nataka kuambia kitu moja mazi sisi kama watu wa industry mimi kuna vitu zinafanyika azinipendezi hata kidogo just the other day tulipoteza tulipoteza Benjamin Aima who celebrated malaria huni jama ame ameleta ame, ame pride kwa timu ya taifa ya rugby ametushindia mpaka kikombe seven uh, to, to learn that that someone like Benj- uh, Benjamin Aimba died of cerebral malaria akitibiwa aki Kenyatta Hospital hiyo story mi bado i add up and then right now bado watu wanachangisha chapa ya kusaidia offset hiyo bill na kuzika benja 2.7 million Kenya shillings you want to tell me government through the ministry of sports federation ya rugby aiezi afford specialized treatment ya mtu kama huyu legend mazee hata ompeleke machu atitiwe si uona maempi hapa wakipata ma accident the first thing unafanywaga lt wamepelekwa stu england si wapi si india wakatitiwe how long are we going to see this happen to our sports people jana matasi amepata accident very bad road accident the first thing mimi naona matasi amepelekwa usi eh kapsabet kidogo sijui amekuwa transferred kaka mega general hospital general hospital huni kipa ametushikia afcon you want to tell me the federation or even the ministry of sports cannot help matasi to nairobi nairobi hospital matasi na family anasema matasi simaanishi matasi alone anasema matasi with the family because alikuwa na family elif these people wapeleke nairobi otimiwe the difference between life and death inakuwa microseconds dogo nasikia mtu aliaga just because of small negligence na ukipata watu kama hawa mazao wameleta pride kwa country i don't understand why we cannot give them and give them specialized treatment i'm talking about so many uh, people who've left us i'm talking about so many uh, of our athletes who are in a bad situation na wanakuwa tu neglected amanaka ndio huyu ame dead tukiona and if you ask me ile time tukiongea na amanaka hapa cholei unaweza unaweza niunga mkono amanaka was seeking for help i want to cry out for for help but tumengoja mpaka amanaka ame dead sasa hivi sasa ndio tunataka kuanza kuchanga chapa honestly i don't think this trend uh, should continue and maybe hii death ya amanaka ina fight tufunze kitu so baraza please just give us an update na tupatie hiyo paybill number tuanze kuchangia bro um tabu <coughs> anza bro ana plan na shukuru kwa community at least kwa hiyo forum sauti kidogo bro sauti at least niweze kuzungumza kwa niaba ya familia so thank you mazi kupatia hapa guys ah since zabs demise tumekutana mara ya kwanza anti ya familia ah jana and ndikaweza 
na haraka sikiwezi wengi kama mafana ah budget ya kwanza sio kama tambogo kama bostar which uh the casket na transportation of which
mm. at least tuweze kumkiza huyu mwenzetu uh, na heshima na na wakati ufao tu ile tumeonelea anaweza kana sisi mhm ya yeah. hiyo um mm. maybe maybe if you if you can just repeat apo place ya family because kulikuwa na distortion kidogo and i don't think many people got you well apo eh zabi alikuwa na watu wangapi na wangapi bado wako shule sasa hivi okay zabu aliacha watoto watatu na mjane moja mm. uh, watoto wake wa kwanza wote ni daughters Mm-hmm. Dota wake wa kwanza ya chando ako wa pili anaitwa Ashley um Ashley alafu yule wa mwisho anaitwa Bessa class 4 kalia bado watoto ni wapacha ni kaji kwa mambo ya elimu so hapo ni ya kila sisi tupatie tunasikia tuweze pia kumbuka jamii na pia amecha mjane na mjane inakuwa ngani chapa moto kiasi kurezo watoto yeah so tukipatia at least some footing Mm. Uh, at least watoto wasome pia wakati tunamchangia we put mm. that in mind uh hiyo michango pia towards inaenda towards pia upkeep na na, na elimu ya watoto tutashukuru mm. sana sana zaidi yes <laughs> na kijana wake anaitwa Natasha anaitwa Jesse anaitwa Jesse 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 uh-huh. Chando uh-huh. Okay. Dio, dio. So just to recap, <clears throat> just to recap tukirudi kwa Obango and I hope right uh, nini yako ime drabief kidogo. Eh baraza nasema total budget required to offset the uh, funeral arrangements inakuja karibu 500k and then uh, an extra 400,000 ambayo itaenda kuwa shughuli za to make sure that watu hii at least wameendelea wame, wame na shule and then of course ameacha mjani. So our the need close to uh, about 900,000 in total i think that is a manageable amount considering the kind of friends wale zabeli kwa nao and then burial itakuwa on the 12th of june 2021 which is the next saturday after this one so pay bill number ni 8039341 and then the account number unaweza ka jina yako unaweza ka jina ya zabe yeah so i think I just want to be clear on that. Nime pin kwa page and then later on also tutaweka hiyo kama post so that people can share it as much as they can. Any amount, iko ni so, iko ni 50 bob, iko ni 20 bob, iko ni 1000, iko ni 10000, any amount is welcome as at this time because we're talking about uh, less than 10 days, actually uh, almost 10 days before Zabe are married. So we are trying to raise 900,000 in less than 12 days. So majama tuchangamke ile kidogo uko nayo, pay bill iko hapo, tuchangamkie za bema at least tumpatie a decent send off. Bango uko set? Eh niko sawa unanisikia? Eh yeah, nakusikia sasa. Eh. Yeah. So na pia kwa mazabe amekuwa bestia for long sana and uh, eh ma kwa sasa bado na kuna ile uzuni kwa tatizo rafiki yangu sana tuliko share a lot eh uh, those good challenges na kuna nami sana na tuna mazo za kuona kuwa eh like unfortunately we are but nimeweka uh, bravo umeguzia kitu hapo sana umeweza kusema kuwa eh uh, to labi tufanyike ndio 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 sasa tuwe 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 tu, tu, tu react nataka na tuwe back to our situations so that uh, to avoid mambo ya kuwa reactive uh, wakati jambo limefanyika zabe mimi nimekuwa cross na zabe I think after boni i think the uh, boni ambanya i think uh, I was uh, the next person very very close to zabe because uh, so many uh, wakati alko shemelie akoya akiwa bonga all those kwa huko nilikuwa namshughulikia sana mambo yake ya ma transfers na nini so we became so so hata hiyo story 
so Zabia me mafia yangu did not pass the day to taste alkwani jaga o ngo alkwani to ba salima kishelili maya wete kila tak din so many things to kona pamoja eh uko na fryer eh moment para nazabe ilikuwa hata siku salimana ni kuhagiana maana we were so close eh na that's why that yazabe me some of us to touch so deep that uh, we even uh, comprehend what really happened me paka sai sijai sijua nini ili happen dai because sande bado kawachana kuna rafiki yetu ta connectors kawaze was very very close with zabe also uh, every time watu ni kujokes na zabe zabe was already very very, very cheerful tuko na la like zabe game zetu za task kawaze alikuwa anakuja yeye ndio mtu wa kwanza sha change how that you for me zabe alikuwa gayo sisi mtu wa kwanza kuja zabe tunamuona yeye yuko ready for the game ama ana prepare so i think we are very close guy the kenya bola think of the legends rama gabe na mjuan no nonsense kwa kiota sai sa game za wazee sa hizi vijana walikuwa na mwogo because naomba usogope rasta huwa shazeka alambia pana huyu jamaa anaingia sana so vijana so ngora alikuwa anachocha anasema ubangoti hakuna kuna kuna eh ingia mtu huyo kuna ya nini yani that tulikuwa na mtapanya tutakuwa mtalai maana ke he had the heart cryo and zabe kachana na moja the same next minute mna crack joke na eh so he was just human being why should i die but msema kama marafiki zake we are going to ensure that zabe gets a decent burial tutajaribu to support maltuna Uh, sisi kama friends uh, mimi kama member wa FC Leopards Lorenzo Blanche mm. tumeweza organize uh, kaandreza mtaa ngemi mm. itakuwa sande mm. uh, tumealika teams ka kuja ku team za wazee kuja kutusaidia kuchanga na pia tunajaribu ku invite watu wale za tusaidia kuchanga tuweza at least to target imewek familia because um, this is the only time we can uh, we can uh, we can honor them, but at least issue that uh, anapata anapata this barrier although we believe you are going to barrier but there's a list there we stand with family at this time mm. mm-hmm. chol Ch- oh, yes, hey. yes 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 Yeah so um tukiendelea tuki, tuki acha niangalie tumbaki na dakika ngapi um i think there are so many things that we discussed with the zabe hiyo siku tukiwa na wewe and one of the most important things ile to discuss ni how we can incorporate and make sure that zablon arudi back kwa ball in some capacity mi mwenyewe uh, nilikuwa na nilikuwa na promise na yeye ya kwamba most of these things zile anafanya tutakuwa naye hand in hand tutasaidiana kusukuma and yeye mwenyewe pia alikuwa ame promise akaniambia this year lazima ataingia samiti kwa tournament ya super cup in december um, one week later after the show tuliongea bado eh, tuka, tuka, tuka sikizana ya kwamba uh, zile vitu tunafanya kwa ball yani tujaribu ku incorporate so that akuwe at least active na zabe ukiangalia i think americh out so many people kwa facebook I don't want to mention names but I know for a fact that he tried to reach out for help uh, on so many occasions but I think uh, I feel I think ilifika mali aka feel ni kama maybe anasumbua watu uh, as 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 usual najua sasa ile mtu anaweza kuwa na a very genuine concern 
anakutumia message unaona au jamaa ananisumbua acha ni mlenge but uh, i think mimi personally on so many occasions nime bail out uh, tumeongea mara mob na hata kwa the, the reason why i wanted him on the interview was to actually see how other people wale wako kwa industry wanaweza msaidia uh, nilikuwa nimemwambia hata personally mimi na feel ni kama maybe uh, at some point maybe federation ingempatia just something to do uh, on the technical bench either a national team hizi ma junior teams ma under hizi because he's one of the legends and one of the best defenders Kenya has ever produced chole zabel kuambia nini usiku um Zabet mkoa kiongea tunaongea mara nyingi sana unajua um, and is uh, one person that atakusumbua ata unajua mm-hmm. labda uwezi he never used to push you off atakupigia kama ako baya kwa unakumbuka pale kwa ofisi yani eh, kwa show akikuwa bia kinisifu akisema huyu jamaa kiwa nyawa stadium unajua hapo ndilikuwa mechikoni wakaenda wapige tao raundi nini waona aziingiani wanasema walikuwa mm-hmm. na hoteli pale pale poolside Mm-hmm. and I, i think i used to have an account at, at the pool side and have um so so many uh, so many brothers of mine that we played soccer with mm wamekuwa kila mara wakipita pale nyaya stadium na wanajua show liko hapa kama ni around lunch time nilikuwa kana account hapo kwa mwezi nilikuwa nalipa about sazile 5 tao at some point i paid about 18000 shillings ya ile mtu ah show limeuja kwa ofisi lakini sija kupata na nilikuwa nataka kukula ka kitu na ndiye na pale kwa restaurant hapo hivyo so napigwa simu so Um, zade simtu atiataji ikimsumbua atiatanyamazia hapana so sio tukiongea pale kwa show akaniambia show eh hey, man napitia nikaambia zade hata you don't even need to explain because from the look of what i'm seeing mwili hii wewe vile eh, nani eh, classmate wake amesema hapa hivi alikuwa gani beast eh mm. zade unajua alikuwa ni beast kabisa lakini sasa ule zade sana naye juzi you could you could basically tell kwa Um, brother yetu anapitia and it is not just zablon see it peke yake i also have a friend uh, tunjeza naye shame ya berry hakuna uh, mm. hivi kusema kwa sababu tuko kwa group plani mm. a friend of ours in nakuru ameanzisha group ya ku, ya kuchangia shame ya berry na shame pia yeye reach out eh. so mm. we have a lot of our own out there wale mm. wanateseka sana unaona mm. so hata ukisema ati eh, national team labda itaani position moja kwa technical bench and stuff but at the end of the day for i mean for to, to how many players to how many former players yeah. because the majority of the people that we played soccer with the majority of them were wanateseka sana huko nje unajua times are tough mm-hmm. right here in Kenya mm-hmm. yeye sema ulaya najua covid tumefungiwa ma, ma covid hapa hivi si kama kama America so pia ta expect kina abraza zetu wanatuochuko America mm-hmm. uh, watatuma wat, kitu mzito kidogo unaona so <laughs> Um, how how do we sort out this problem no na because mm-hmm. the problem is is bigger than what we are seeing right now mm-hmm. uh zabe what anyonge zabe yuko hapa zabe ameko na first technical pain unajua uh what about nyaberi what about the other madare united player ama former kenya brewery player ama former gormaya player ule mm-hmm. labda hakufika mpaka harambe stars ya yeah? because mm-hmm. tuki tukianza ku trickle down to baka wale walichezea Harambe Stars na wale kuzara Harambe Stars maze watu ni wengi sana wengi sana now how do we get out of this thing mm. because number one, kama kwa show vile tulisema sisi kama former players we don't like each other mimi nikiingia mm. federation kama kama vice president wa Nyamwea nilikuwa napigwa na na former players wenzangu wote walienda wakaenda kwa Nyamwea huko and you mm. see now bango we, we, we were in the same team with with Will Pangoto na tulitaseka na huyu jamaa na, na Hussein Mohamed all over Obangwa anakuambia I use my own money there's never a single day and I say it never a single day nilifanya nani nilifanya ile ile dina dina harambe mm. I use my own money Obangwa yuko hapa kuna siku ati tumefanya siju mchango na nini because why because I wanted to bail us out out of the situation that we are in today unaona mm. 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 hakuna siku mtu kwa federation ule hajai cheza ball ule hajai safa ataanza kufikiria huyo bango alicheza gabol bora nisimweke kwa branch ya kangemi huko kama mtu wa fk linkman huko or something so that he can also benefit from that na through him also aelimishe wale vijana wanakuwa unaona alafu uh, sema kama patrick shim he was my idol me i used to carry for patrick shim nani viatu zake 
ya yeah, alikuwa ni akiingia kitale huko yeye ni star mm. utakuniambia Patrick Simpson mtu atawekwa mahali hata kwa FC leo patio tunasema hiyo because he's he's gone through his played at the team after a technical bench for something i was mm. uta, utapata at the end of the day wale watu wako kwa technical bench na um, wale watu wana run affairs za, za, za clubs the people who very few of them played for football unaona Mm. Nashukuru mtu kama sasa Shikanda amepigana mpaka katika mali yuko hapo. But you see now Shikanda now uh, mm. who is Shikanda working with? He's not mm. working with the people that they, they speak the same language. Wale watu walicheza Paul na utakuta Shikanda yuko hapo ni former player anajaribu kuleta change lakini kwa sababu kuna jamaa fulani anataka kutumia hiyo position kwenda kwa politics lazima mm. atavuta huu chini. I'm not saying that it's just an example, unaona? But mm. now my question is how do we get out of this thing? Because Zablon Zablon ni among wala meenda kuna wala meenda hapa mbele kuna wala meenda but hatujarekebisha bado so mm. na kuna wengi sana unajua tuko wengi sana kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo line tuko wengi sana mm. if, if you are not careful another two, four, five years bado tutakutana na watu hawafanyi so the question would be after manaka then what should we do to eliminate eliminate uh, the problem that we have in this football society the other day uh, talking of the way forward and what we are supposed to do as i come to you boni fasambani the other day i was speaking to my brother maina kageni and uh, what maina kageni told me really touched me because uh, maina aliniambia what we are supposed to do as both former and current footballers we are supposed to come together first of all then speak as one voice and 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 champion for something called uh, not sports fund alita kitu kama beneficiaries fund whereby we push the government to allocate some funds towards vitu kama hizi kama kuna player na struggle kama kuna player na need medical attention kuna fund na hii fund the only people who can spearhead and help us get it are current and former football players in that awezi kuona ongea jua jua sports fund for example na wewe ni mtu we ni admin ofisi mali so the people who are supposed to champion this and i would really want um, to kama shole mtu kama boni uko hapa mtu kama obango mko hapa can we try and speak in one voice and push for this fund because chapa iko gavai iko na chapa kuna saa zingine unaambiwa ga eh, ministry sijui ministry of sports ilirudisha chapa fulani kwa time ya budget kwa ministry of finance because no one came and claimed it so can we claim this kitty to kuna fund fulani ya footballers welfare so that siku moja bonifice me for example la kumgonjo ana need medical attention anafa kutibiwa india tunaenda kwa hiyo fund tuna speak kama one voice hiyo chapa inatolewa so i think hiyo ni kitu point moja maina ali, 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 ali bring out but he said that it has to be championed by the players of the industry who are current and former footballers siju kama kefwa eh wanaweza kuna share hapo siju kama wanaweza tusaidia kupushia agenda so boni maybe unaweza to guide uh, on those lines santa sana because ya kitu moja very important uh, bram mm ajadi mimi Kenya watu nichukia ama wale kuna wale wananipenda ama kuna wale wanichukia kwa kusema kweli mm. but at the end of the day that's born for somebody we will like it you leave it ni ambani nitabaki kwa hivyo siwezi change sababu ni change hata nyimbo tutashangaa ni nini mm. yeah so hapa nilikaa chini ni kidogo nikaona hiyo situation yenye sisi tunapitia kama former footballers Mm. our football country mzee ni noma mm mimi kwa one of the founder members wa kefu but what is happening at the moment na kefu ni wote mnajua ta shem ndio kuja nimekuwa tena nikakaa hivi chini na kwa hapana what's happening what can i do to help the retired players ile shule amesema hao wachezaji wale wanaumia ni wengi ba Mm. Niwingi. So hata kichukua position moja peleke hapa na pale, huyu mpeleke, ule mwingine bado anataka. Ule wa Sony atasemaje? Mm. Ule wa Chemilila atasema nini? Ule wa alikuwa mumia sikitamba atasema nini? Ule alikuwa Montcom atasema nini? So na kuya pool of so many players. 
so i decided ka samapa na tama ne ka come up with an idea yako from the nia kenya association of former footballers kafu kaka mwako kidogo tukakaa chini na former footballers na sepe na tito kina bangu iko hapo eh kina nani moyoti not ni ma players wengi then it was an idea that came up as a moka fine let's try let's try to one in in it na fine boni boni amenda api tani Wisdom of home Kenya Association of Home Footballers. Mm. The same same player again wanajua kwamba hii imefumiwa wanaenda tena na form akitu ingine tena kuzawa at at Kenya Association of Retired Zewot. Nika sasa na uliza. Na uliza jama awilo. I'm sorry mimi sema ukweli mimi sitakaki kupita whether you are my friend nitakwambia. Mm. Awilo Mm. with a group i will form a gormaya uh, defender i will with a group tayari yako kwa hii Kenya association of former footballers na anajua iko anatoka hapo anachukua wachezaji wengine wanaenda kuform kitu kingine same same dama sasa saidi ana hadi niko uliza wewe mzee tumecheza na mpira we are window tumecheza na ball hapa Kenya tumecheza na ball na general team tumecheza na ball mpaka India Mm. Wao wamekuja mpaka kilabu nyingine nilikuwa East Bengal. Mm. I'm one of the players. I'm the player who made sure I will have a East Bengal. Mm. Na do ya. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> so dikasi mzee. Mbona tunaanza kupigana? Mm. Haya. Tuka form nini constitution yetu na kila kitu to we are not registered. Tukapeleka kwa registered of society. Eh. Yeah? Mm. Mm. Ma, Madam Wasike, Shol, si ndio? Yeah, Wasike. Yes. Madam Wasike aka receive papers zetu zika kwa in process ya kuwa registered ikaven kwamba kumbe kefwa was the registered kitambo sana kwa sababu mm. they didn't follow the process ya nini so mm. wao tena wakapeleka paper kwenda ku register mm-hmm. ya yeah? mm. asa bila alienda ku register madam Wasike akasema one thing m mm. aende ku register kaf na aende ku register kefwa these two things have to match m mm. Obango iko hapo atakwambia Obango ndio chairman kama anataka kuficha yeye aficha lakini mimi nimesema nimesema kwa aya is it ni as you are being a command so imekuwa pool kutoka kefwa kefwa hataki kujiunga na na kaf na ule mother amesema kuna na the way nani alikwambia anaitwa nani maana kegeni alikwambia mm. alikwambia the right thing mm. na the same same thing Uh, what uh, madam wasike alituambia kwa meeting kwamba jamaa there is a lot of funds za kusaidia nini ni ni association kama yenye yenye ya Kenya ya ni ya former footballers mm. but you guys have to come to nini march together kuna do mingi sana hapa zenye zinakujanga zinalala hapa sasa zinasukuma kwa ministry zingine kwa sababu haoni hiyo pesa itaenda wapi so ni mm. nyinyi wenyewe Mungu mkae chini mrudi mm sasa tukarudi tuka retreat back mm tukaambia oh, nini uh, nini yetu ya 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 ya, ya CAF Kenya Association of Football Footballers ni hivi na hivi na hivi ni huko lakini wanasema lazima tu maje na nani okay mm. nikaambia kwa jamaa mm. stuma la jeri mm. na de mwingine hapo sio anaitwa nani kwa sababu sio nimesahau jina yake anaitwa Terry i think if i'm not wrong mm. Mm. Jama, mm. Jama, mkae chini mtoe mtu mmoja kwa sababu nani nani amesema madam wasike amesema lazima kafu itoe mtu mmoja alafu kifo itoe watu wangapi wawili mm. ama kafu itoe watu wawili kifo itoe mtu mmoja nikaambia kwa sababu kifo mm. we are not here to fight for anything mimi kazi yangu mimi nataka tu kuona the welfare of mchezaji mwenye anacheza ball saa hii na ule mwenye amerita just, just a minute boni niaje fj Umelala? Umelala basi kongwari. Eh sasa mm. uko live hapa. Eh. 
eh, na tunachangisha tunachangisha bana we are barring one of our soccer legends it was Ablo na Manaka ah okay ni kuandikia ngapi bro nika tu 10k 10k eh aya acha na kutumia pay bill sasa sa, kesho asubuhi tabata safi bro eh uh-huh. tuendelee so rona nikaambia mm. jamaa bwana there's nothing you have to fight for let's come together mm. ni tuenye ata watu wili kefwa sisi mm. kefwa kafu tu kwa mmoja mm of our interim committee and then mm. we go for elect nalo so mm. madam wasika alikuwa ametuambia it's just open it's even it akua mm-hmm. after nimewa register mmekubali i register you muende mkae chini mu retreat mkae chini mkam together as one body muniambie ni nani anatoka pande ni wangapi wanatoka pande i register you you go mm. back three months you organize for vote an election mm sababu hii yote ikuwe ni kefwa ikuwe ni kafu yote anataka yote ni ya kusaidia nini the player it's not, it's not about the current or the retired kwa sababu wote wanaumia hata the current wanaumia wale wame retire wanaumia so kuna body ikuja ya kusaidia wachezaji so ni vile tu maina kageni alikuwa amekuambia it's true there's a lot of fast there but they always go back to the government kwa sababu ya nini kwa sababu ya yetu atupendani wewe unaanza hii huyu ameanza hii huyu unaanza hii huyu sakimbie sasa so, zile unakimbia kwa Bonia mehang. Tunaenda wapi? Ndio kuna mtu alikuwa amecall, mimi mkati. Okay. Mm. So, this is you wenyewe tunajiweka katika situation kama hizi. Mhm. Sasa mimi pia na mba. Mtu nani Bram? Mm. Mtu asija kasema kwamba ati labda Zab alikuwa task wazee, eh? Mm. Zab tumekuwa na task wazee. Ni kwamba labda task wazee wako haifanya kitu it mm. will be very wrong whoever atasema kitu kama hiyo atakwambia asije ata ala ala asije tumwambia hivi kwa sababu mm-hmm. we as as kawaze as as kawaze talking of task kawaze boni eh, kuna jama fulani hapa anaitwa Kamara alinicall mm-hmm. akaniambia kwamba uh, task kawaze sijui I, i don't know if you are privy to this information uh, yes, you are organizing uh, a game a, a tournament ya Zabe Uh, yeah. in Babadogo it will be happening this yeah. Saturday uh, yeah. they are encouraging as many teams to register as possible registration uh, fee ni 2000 bob per team uh, yes. and whatever chapa ile ita 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 ita, 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 ita kwa, uh, collected hapo of course ita kwenda yeah. bado tu back to Zabez funeral arrangements uh, exactly. ni mwangia na Jalas pia sasa hizi uh, ame promise ya kwamba kesho atatuma mchango wake amesema tumweke kwa kiti ka 10k yake hapo safi and i'm sure maybe by tomorrow tutakuwa na more uh, pledges zina come through uh, mimi mwenyewe pia of course ndachangamka kivyangu and then uh, tupeleke bro wetu maze uh, fiti kwa wale wako wamesikia pay bill number ni 803 9341 account number unaweza ika jina yako ama unaweza ika jina ya zabe uh, anything maze any amount 100 bob 200 bob 300 bob 500 1000 10000 anything ile inaingia pale maze tu appreciate sana as we escort our brother because burial ni next week on saturday 12th of june ushago kwao mnyao yeah, tony eh hey, tunakuja kwako well, tony karada bonia kimalizia tunakuja kwako bonia endelea so, dear brother so last year so hmm. We tried me personally as, as born for Zambani I think I've been komaisha zab sana mm. sana I've actually tried as a brother mm-hmm. baka hiyo dakika ya mwisho tuseme ametuondokea mm-hmm. yangu tu nikusema Mungu ailaze roho ro yake malipema peponi mm-hmm. so meet sababu it may happen na ile happen very ni in a manner that hakuna uh, mtu alikuwa anatarajia kama inaweza inaweza happen kwa sababu za mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa naye last sunday ile ingine za bola hapo huru na tukaka tukachana tukajua mzee tunaenda kupatana kisumu kwa hiyo zile siri za wazee kisumu mm. so unaona hata before watu waende kisumu watu wengi sana walipiga za simu mm. lakini was not picking but too unfortunate kwamba zab alikuwa ameaga mm. na kuna namna nyingine so yetu ni ku, 
wish all the best, but I come back to just Julia Kefua, Nakaf, na former players, Tungane, Gwaches, Torimingi. Is Vile Nania Nasema to Apa, Shulia Nasema is 100%. Sahi hata bonfa za mbani sahi hizi kikesho ni kisimama ntakuwa nini nini ni wa federation nini uh, ati uh, president federation kisimu si mpule ya zao na wanaonda wana nipigia vitu <laughs> Afande Zele Afande Zele anasema some of these former players hawatakiani whenever someone proposes something some of them pop up with that attitude ya how much will I be taking home atuwezi saidika na hii attitude as the proposer once said Uh, once you, uh, as the proposer uh, once you fail to respond to their concern nobody <laughs> that proposal and then uh, chutsi anasema huyo ni top lawyer anasema boni hana bundles nipe namba yake ni mnunulie bundles direct i can't send him money directly he'll use it to buy coffee ndefu kama e Rima Jaka anasema when you light other people's paths you also lighting up your own watu penda neni na kusaidiana uh-huh. so uh, i think concern the most important concern hapa ni ya kwamba we should come together join our hands for the benefit of the game Tony tukienda kumalizia kwa baraza cuz naona tushakula kula masaa hapa acha ni unmute hapo baba Classmate wangu eh. Mm. Unasikia? Yeah, nakusikia. Bila baraza lisema last bono azabia kwa class 4 eh. Mm. Uh, na mpaka mimi nilimtezabu at the same class. I think that's when I joined city primary. Mm. Na nimeona text nimetumwa hapa na colleagues wangu wakaniambia wako interested sana kuchipin mm. education ya watu hii juu sisi tuli si atukucheza bono na zabu. Mm. Si tulimit wow. na zabu through education. Mm. Ndelewa? Mm. So as his former friends um tunataka kushughulikia sana hiyo story ya education ya watu watatu mm. na tumetachua sana kwamba kuna moja kwa class 4 na kuna moja kwa high school inaonekana hii ni kitu ina need a lot of attention mm. so we as his former classmate in city primary school mm. tuta take over this and tuta communicate na wewe na baraza how mm. we are going to do let me add on one thing quickly please eh? mm. mm. ambaye mwangalie kitupoa sana juu ya unity ile inaendelea mimi kama TV producer nimework na former players wengi. Mm. Na kitu inaniuma sana Kenya sasa hizi Bram. Mm. Ni uchanganuzi mwabu wa boli inafanywa Kenya iwe ni kwa mitandao, mm. iwe ni kwa redio, unapata inafanywa na ma, ma journalist. Mm. But wanaacha au ma former players hizi. Unajua player ni mtu anaelewa tactically nini inaendelea kwa boli. Yeah. And they interpret kwa nini team ball possession iko hivi na hivi. Unanipata? Mm but unakuta watu wapo opportunity. So mm. nakumbuka tikiwa super sport tulichukua na kina Abbas, Sepe, mm. tulichukua na nani mwingine? Ghosts. Mm. Na tangu Kimanzi alikuwa. Mm. But ukiangalia boli ya saa hii, ni nani wanafanya analysis wachezaji? Hata wacha national ball, hata hizi ma radio station. Yeah. Unakuta tu ni ma journalist, mzee amesoma sports journalism na leo sports. Mm. So mimi na challenge ma journalist wale wanatusikiza. Mm. Tupatie nia wase hizi opportunity. Mm. Angalia motiso. Mimi nakumbuka nikipatia na story ya motiso. Tulikutana na motiso kasarani one day ametoka gora na injury. Nikamza motiso. Unajua una, unaweza piga TV. Kanambia hai Tony siwezi. Nikamwambia budo unaweza. Angalia kwa api. Mm. Na wako wengi tukipea na example. Mm. So tuacheni sisi isweli jukumu ya gava peke yake. Wale watu tumepoa ball Kenya. Wale watu tunapiga bet king. Wale wase tunafanya chapadimba. Analysis tuacha kupatia ma journalist peke yake. Mm. Tuo chukua ama explainer. Kuna explainer anaelewa ball na kuna wale anaelewa ana kizungupoa. Mm. So nikitumi na challenge my colleagues wale tuko kwa ball broadcasting mm. tunafanya sports. Tuchukue ni kitu tusaidia na ma, ma former players na isiende hivi bro. Na nashukuru at least tumekuwa na hii platform tunaongea juu ya vitu kama hizi. Mm. But tuache pretense. Ni like vile ambani is open straight to the point na bro I think that's the best way to go. Hawa tu ambuo kweli wa kuchukua kupende it's up to them but watu wanaume wa huko nje bana ma player wengi tumesikia na wayuku story yake zivyo how many years how many guys are stepping out to help you kama tunangoja spiller ameenda chini ndo tachangisha mm. so fans wa Kenya na watu wa Bolt wa Chepreten tutaanza kusaidia hawa ni hayo buda buda hapo umeongea na a lot of wisdom na i think inatoka kwa maybe the fact that maybe you are one of uh, uh, Azabez 
former classmates because hivyo vile umeongea mazii imetoka kwa roho na ni fiti na hiyo story unasema ya ambani i think na kuunga mkono ambani is one of the most honest guys wale nime meet na uh, unajua basi wa Kenya tupendani kwa mbio kweli uh, kuna siku tume nime host uh, Malo Jamal Mohamed kwa show uh, just like like three weeks ago uh, Jamal alikuja pale mazii akaongea vitu out of heart but ni vitu alikuwa na feel hivyo vile alikuwa anaongea so kuna watu of course ili warab the wrong way but again that is Jamal Mohamed and whatever he said ilikuwa ni hivyo yani hivyo ndio yuko ukimpata kama ametulia anakwambia the same thing so i think for me most importantly uh, it's not about shaming anyone i don't think it's about shaming anyone or accusing anyone falsely ni ile tu yani tumeona hizi vitu zikiapen kwa game for a long time and some of us have been in the system tumekuwa oppressed na the same system So some of those things tukizisema mazini vitu tumeona ziki happen na hatuwezi takazi happen kwa the coming generation ni vitu siwezi taka mi personally mtoyo wangu apitie because mazee football pays a lot a lot a lot ukienda huko nje pali eh, pali pali ime, imetiliwa manani mazee think watu wana live out of it wame make careers out of it so let's keep on talking ikweni ukweli radio ukweli na umasa zingine but tuiseme mpaka siku ile tutaparachain change might not come in the next four years or five years but i believe to kind of like gospel maze for the next 10 years something must or something will give at the end of the day so baraza wewe ndio nataka utumalizie wewe ndio nataka utufungie show eh obango ameingana na network yake hapo and i think in a mess so yetu tutamuita live unajua watu wa kitambo wanataka ga live on location tumuita live on location and tupatie hadithi kidogo legend yetu wa kevlet ya noma so baraza anything you want to add on uh, before to to wind up show um kwanza mimi ningependa kwanza ningeshukuru na kushukuru kwanza Bramwell ningeanza na shukran Uh, kwa kupatia hii platform at least nizungumze kwa niaba ya jamii brothers wake the family um and nizungumze to at least to the fans out there and friends uh at least all of us uh, we knew Zab as a very good job in man alikuwa pia yeye ni mtu pia speak out his heart and he was a very good man uh they uh for those who wish to those who knew him well well uh, they they would not hesitate at least to remember him for the good that he did for the nation mm-hmm. and also for the joy that later whenever he came to a room because zabu used to used to be someone now uh, waraha mm-hmm. he was just used to bring some light whenever he goes and wherever he goes mm-hmm. so when in, in uh, that in mind uh with the uh, in connection to my appeal uh at least uh we should remember him for that and if at all kama kama nyinyi kama uh on wa wachezaji wenzake if you can just do him baraza mehang Uh, na nisikia? Ya yeah, nakusikia bro. Right. So, uh if at all you can kama mnaweza ka have something even for the for, for him ile at least the uh, ka, ka show some thanks to him like a, a trophy a certificate yote pia tashukuru. Mm. Uh si mingi ya kusema but uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to Kenya uh fans the family friends and relatives whoever is watching uh thank you for celebrating my brother Zablon and our brother as well uh even in this journey selection ampeleka it's a celebration of a great man mm. a great football a friend a father uh and um, a mentor to many mm-hmm. Thank you bro. Hiyo. Safi, safi, safi kabisa. Eh, again I'll just repeat your pay bill number ya Zablon ni 8039341 account ni jina yako ama unaweza kujina ya Zabe or you can put anything but most importantly is the pay bill number which is 
0809-9341. Maze anything, anything will go a long way. My friend Jalango has promised 10,000. Tomorrow nita kwa kwa kesi yake. Uh, Yeni mtu kusema na kutenda, of course, atatuma hapo kitu. Uh, personally, mimi pia, nita changamuka, nita tuma hapo mchango yangu kwa pay bill. And so many of my friends who promised to support this course, na juu nita kwa na wafuadio pay bill, na watachangamuka. Tunachukua kila kitu. So, utano, thao, thao tano, thao kumi, thao mbao, hundred thousand, anything will go a long way. And again, I want to big up Tony, Na mabeste zako maze, your story education, I think it's one very, very important area itasaidia sana. Because I'm sure hata palizabe yuko maze, kama misikia kitu kama hii, najua mechanga muka sana. Because education maze is very important. Na, na dhani, kwa mwanaume yani, pride yake ni kuona watu yuake wakigrow, wakisoma, and turn out to be uh, very influential people in the society. So maze, big up, big up sana kwa story education. Na ukisha pata uh, the details maze, bring it forward ndio tuta, tuta ndio tuambie pia tu update pia watu wale walikuwa nasikia tumesikia pia kutoka kwa matasi matasi is doing well we are praying for the family for healing eh, watu wake mtu wake na wife bado wako usi eh, broken hand eh, broken shoulder so maze tunaombea sana sana wapate nafu of course matasi alikuwa treated and akakuwa discharged but ako usi sasa hizi anachekiwa mtu ina wife eh, kina fellow watu wangu wa USA pia wame promise ya kwamba they are working towards uh, fundraising for Zablo na Manaka's expenses. So pia unajua takuwa natu, natu update maybe on their show on Sunday or maybe through the internet to apata you information. And then of course we'll share that with the fans and the family will be the first people to know, of course. Unless there's anyone with a burning issue or kama kuna mtu wako na kitu anata kusema kabla tufunge, mazemi na shukuru sana, boni. Thank you so much. Nikupigia simu, kaniambia kufanyi kitu. E, na shukuru sana kusikia yu story ya Zabe. Tony, the same thing maze. Kuna vitu tumepanga na wewe e, kusu Zabe. Hizo ma tribute. E, I hope we follow it through e, so that tuende tuonge na watu. Watupake pia story yao, watu wanje. And then of course, e, Sholei, e, big up, big up, big up sana maze. Umete time yako. Naji ukwa wei, batu mejitokeza, batu mechapashu. Kumina wa shukuru sana, baraza. Keep the fire burning. Kona namba yangu. Anytime maze ukitaka shuguli yote, just let me know. Mpaka tupeleke bro yetu aduz viti. Watu wale wamekuwa kiwot show maze. Asanteni sana sana. Ezra Ru. Ezra. Big respect guys. Uchiweida. Shukram sana sana. Afande sele anasema. Ipe ibil tutaichanga mkia bram. Rest easy rastaman. Thank you so much Afande sele. Jared Obiri. Akondakas. Na shipae. Anasema, papa, hiyo pay bill yeke kama post in a way, then we'll share. Rest easy, Rasta man. Eh, and then Kevin Reyes Odu, anasema, what is with this habit ya kukea mtu when he's dead? Zablon was not okay when he was on this show. Who couldn't see? Sasa ndiyo mnachanga. Uh-huh. As always. So, misawa. Sasa mededi, lazima tumpeleke. Eh, Matthew Otamax pia amekuwa ndakas kama kawaida legend huyo pia asante sana Otamax for everything and then uh, Roxy Ashuma who is also a tasker uh, waze legend ye pia ako ndani anasema na watch of course pia tunapiga neema shughuli Kekeroe ako ndani kama kawaida and then Afande amesema nikusalimie sana Sholei Majama, asanteni sana tuchangamke hiyo pay bill maze kwa page zetu personal tusukume paka tupelekeza mm. behomu. Ama vipi? Salimia jamaa container. Yes, so jamaa container hame salimika, Otamax. <laughs> James Orito, samisi tuseme vipi. Shukran baba. Thanks so much guys and see you on the next one. Yeah?